Hello and welcome again to my studio. My name is Blanca and I am the owner of Furniture with Imagination. I'm going to be showing you today how to um, basically get a furniture that has been stripped and bleached uh, to give him that uh, natural look. Um, I have this in the back that I have done and it looks really beautiful and I found this oak um, little chest of drawers and it's so gorgeous and beautiful but it is too dark and I like to lighten up the oak. So sometimes when you strip a piece and you bleached it, um, if you put a top coat on top of it, it's going to darken the wood. Again, it's like if you didn't bleach it. Um, and But if you like to convert the wood to a lighter color, you're going to have to think how you're going to protect it after bleaching it. And the best way that I found is with light wax. You don't have to go too heavy on it um, just to protect it so it doesn't become white, um, but just actually shows the natural wood tone of it. Uh, so we're going to be doing that. I'm going to show you how to do that um, with this beautiful piece. Um, so I'm going to be stripping it and I'm going to be bleaching it. I'm not going to show you that part, uh, but we're going to actually be treating it after that whole process. So you know how to actually protect your raw wood with the most beautiful wax, which is the blind wax. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, tag three friends. We're going to be giving away lightning wax today and share it. Uh, let us know from where you're watching. I, I definitely love to know where you're watching from and ask me any questions. I will be more than happy to answer any questions um, here. Okay. So thank you so much and let's get started. All right, so I just completed to fully sand and bleach my piece. And as you can see, um, the color is more lighter. However, I discovered that this is not oak, it's actually walnut. And it's a really beautiful brown color. Um, and I just love it the way it is. So we're gonna be now protecting this wood. Like remember if I actually would just put um, like a top coat on top of it, it would darken and it would actually look like if I did not bleach it and lighten up the color, okay? So um, the best way that I found on how to protect pieces that have been bleached and when I like the color is with lightning wax. So I have a, a new puck here and I'm gonna do a close up so you know exactly how we're going to be applying it. Uh, we're not going to put this in excess um, too much. It's just going to be very lightly. Um, and then we're going to let it dry to cure and protect it. Okay, so let's get going. Okay, so here I have my puck of liming wax and I have my chippy brush. Amy Howard at home uh, chippy brushes are really the best because they are like two or three times more thick. So just take your brush and uh, saturate it in the liming wax. And then what you're gonna do is that you're going to offload it into a little cardboard box. Um, the reason for doing that is because you don't wanna actually put excess liming wax into the wood. Um, you're not trying to make it, um, you know, with that liming, Type of um, look you just want to protect it um, lighten up a little bit or not allowing the wood to um, you know become dark um, as I was explaining I um, love the light wood look and I have been stripping and bleaching a lot of pieces and I learned my lesson sometimes you um, decide to put a top coat um, and even if it's a totally flat top coat um, like um, the one that Amy Howard at home has once you start applying the top coat because it's like water based that water is going to penetrate into the uh, uh, wood grain and it's going to darken the wood and it's going to remain like that it's going to actually make it dark so um, there's no point on you 
bleaching lightening up the wood if it's going to be dark put dark you know when you apply the top coat so i learned with the liming wax without putting it in excess just like very very lightly and little look at how much i am actually brushing the tiny little bit that i put then you just touch and make sure that there is wax everywhere and that will protect um, your wood and at the same time it's not gonna make it look darker or white um, so that is exactly how you do it you can do this let it cure for about a day uh, then you can just buff it and then you can do a second coat if you you know white to lighten it a little bit more but I usually find that just one is is plenty so that's the top and we are done with the top uh, we're not gonna buff it right now we're gonna be doing it later okay i just want to show you quickly how i'm going to do the drawers it's very very fast um kind of like very lightly touching the wood um and then a little bit of uh, the wax goes a long way and always offload it I have my cardboard here and I always offload it because I don't want to have excess otherwise your wood is going to become like with this liming um, type of look uh, which is beautiful but that's not what I'm looking for I just want to protect the wood um, make it remain um, in a lightened color but not white so um, touch to make sure that you didn't miss any areas and if you did miss any areas uh, go ahead and reload your brush and then offload it again just for the excess wax to uh, uh, be removed and then very very lightly fan um, your surface make sure you cover everything crevices um, high points low points and uh, just fan it like that and then once you feel that you have covered all the areas just touch your wood again and uh, that's it as simple as that nothing complicated and you're gonna let it cure for a day or so and then uh, you can buff it to a very very soft sheen but there you go okay so we're going to be buffing now the piece um, I have done the entire piece with liming wax and as you see it doesn't look like it's white it has been just protected and uh, I am going to buff it a little bit just to remove any excess wax and also to give it this very very light sheen I don't like it shiny uh, but this is gonna just uh, basically leave it a really nice shine and uh, very soft and at the same time it's going to make it really really smooth to the touch that's exactly how i like it so do you see i mean some wax is coming off um so that excess wax just need to go and uh you just have to uh, get a little shop towel um and then just rub the entire piece everywhere where you actually apply the liming wax very gently you don't have to do a lot of like force because um, I mean I'm not going for a very very high sheen so very very lightly and um, yeah I'm just gonna do the entirety of the piece um, every side just buffing really really lightly okay so as you can see i have like xx wax coming that's important that we remove all that xx wax and um, there you go so it's very simple i just wanted you to see exactly how simple and easy it's the uh, the removing of the xx wax okay thank you okay so here is the big reveal of this piece and as you can see the lighting here in this room is a little bit different so the piece looks a little bit darker which is really honestly the color of the piece this is like kind of like um chocolate type of color but it's so beautiful and you can appreciate the green look at that it's absolutely gorgeous and as you can see it doesn't look white um but 
if you would have put a top coat on this it would look really really dark like walnut um so yeah there you go i find it to be really cute this is like 1800s piece i think it's late 1870s and uh, i'm so glad i was able to restore it make it really beautiful and uh, i love the color that uh, turn out at the end. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to tag friends and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.